Hi everybody, my name is Giacomo Longaro and welcome to my channel. On this video, I'm going to show you a full day exploration of Amarumuru, Aramumuru, or Hayumarca, where I found the weirdest petroglyph that looks like an alien. Watch the video and don't forget to leave me your comments. Thank you. Here we are on our way to the portal of Amarumuru, also known as Aramumuru or Hayumarca, located at the west side of the Titicaca Lake, an hour and a half from the border with Bolivia. All this area is very rich in a red sandstone, quite similar to the one located in Colorado. The portal is also known as Puerta del Diablo, the Devil's Gate, because the Catholic Church tried to uh, prohibit it. Pilgrims from different walks of life, shamans, had been visiting this place from centuries ago. All this area belongs to the local community, to the local area from ancient times till today. And uh, also this place has been known as a Stargate to become popular as a portal since the early 90s. And some people think that this is the place where the sun disk, the gold disk from the Incas, ended up being located in the portal. Also stories about ancient and lost civilizations like Lemuria or Atlantis are related to this portal. Whoever built this portal designed this place for the people to approach, kneel down, put their hands on each side and put the forefront into that hole, card hole, in order to connect with the portal or stargate and have spiritual or mystical experiences. also to be known a place of uh, unusual or high stretchiness. There is a picture of myself taking a couple of years ago with a so-called angel hair effect. Now there is an interesting detail that according to the local people the measurement of the three sides of the portal is seven meters, the divine number or the magical number. It is also known that above the portal there is gnomon or small cylindric rock or sundial we assume that this place was also an astronomical observatory, perhaps for astrotheological ancient belief system. Aramumuru with my friend Elisa Blas. She is an independent researcher and explorer. And we have the information that this petroglyph, the alien petroglyph, was located above the portal, behind the portal, or nearby. So this is the exploration. This is what really happened when we were there. So this is what happens in real life when you are above 4,000 meters above sea level or 13,000 feet above sea level and you are hiking at a certain altitude, perhaps like a four or five story high building and trying to record at the same time. It looks easy but it's not. When you are way up above the portal and hiking, the scenario looks like a Jurassic Park. Whoa. Something from the Martian scenario. It's really surreal. And some of the rocks look like a prehistoric dinosaur of animals. So we were hiking for a couple of hours. We were getting tired. We hike up and down, east, west, north, south. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, 
I heard the sounds of a kena and an Indian flute. And I look around and it was a local, a local kid from the nearby village. If you believe in coincidences, the name of this young man is Socrates, like the Greek philosopher, and he was our savior, the one who guided us nearby the place where this petroglyph is located. Socrates was full of surprises, and uh, Elisa decided to interview him and engage in a conversation, and he told us that his grandfather, at his same age, at 25 years old, was going through the fields, walking by the portal, and it was a nine o'clock at nine in a full moon when the, he saw the portal shining sunlight and something caught the attention of his grandfather. He turned around and looked at the portal with glowing lights. For a brief moment, his grandfather was able to see like a golden city with the streets, buildings and other structures that were just like a glimpse. It only lasted for a few seconds and it closed again. Since then, his belief that there is something else, there is another dimension, there is a, some sort of connection and this is some sort of a stargate or portal that can take the people with pure heart to the other side. His grandfather saw when he was 25 years old. We told Socrates what we were looking for. He guided us first to this place where there are seven holes or water mirrors. Seven is another special number for astro astronomical purposes. If you look at other legends or myths of places, ancient civilizations and ancient cultures is related to the Pleiades. The Pleiades cluster called the seven sisters, the seven sheep or the seven lambs. So we were able to put a compass here and find out it was a true north and south and it was the perfect location location for astronomical observation. After that, Socrates uh, took us to uh, this place, which is believed to be the entrance of a chincana. A chincana is an underground tunnel that connects to different places called huacas, sacred places or temples around different parts of the Andes. It's well known that in Cusco exists several chincanas that connect different temples and ancient places also connect with older churches built over the Inca temple in Cusco. Socrates took us to the place where the petroglyph is located. And I swear to God, we were there. We passed by several times and we didn't notice it because of the sun rays hitting the rock. It practically, you can be standing in front of it and you can barely see it. There it was. The alien petroglyph, quite unusual. First of all, this is real ancient rock art. This is not recent and I can tell that it is weathered. The petroglyph itself, it's uh, very and highly unusual, it's atypical, and I've been looking to different uh, websites from different colleges regarding petroglyphs, at least in the USA, and I cannot find any other rock art similar to the one located in Amarumuru or Aramumuru portal. It's clearly a humanoid. Now, from this perspective, you have uh, six fingers and have four fingers, six on the right, and a kind of an elongated head, eyes, a sort of mouth, and his body. I haven't found, I repeat, in any other catalog or book, encyclopedia, uh, something similar to this rock art. However, what it, uh, really caught my attention is that this petroglyph is exactly right behind the portal of Amarumuru or Aramumuru. It is worth mentioning that this uh, petroglyph is with open and raised arms in a salute mode or welcome attitude towards who is watching it. In other words, this is a message uh, done by who know what artist that has seen this kind of humanoid hundreds of years ago, perhaps a thousand years ago. We are not sure because it requires a more and deeper research. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. My name is Giacomo Longaro. I have published two books in Spanish, so stay tuned because I'm going to be uploading more videos like this. Thank you.